Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so today I'm going to do two small canvases and I'm only going to use four colours. I'm going to have really bright base colours. So I'm going for a nickel yellow by Amsterdam and a Persian rose by Amsterdam. And they're going to be my base colours. And then the only two colours I'm going to use on top are going to be black and white. I'm going to use a lamp black and a titanium white by Amsterdam. All my colours are mixed with water only. Just paint and water, one part paint to one part water and I'm going to do a traditional Dutch pour. So let's take those colours and put them on the canvas and I'm going to blow them out. So it's going to be a very basic colour palette on these two canvases. Yellow on one canvas, pink on the other, and then I'm going to layer the black and white on each base. On one of them I'm going to do black, white, black, white. On the other I'm going to do white, black, white, black. Okay, so I'm going to layer the two colours, the white and the black, on top of each other on this yellow canvas. So I've started with a white, I'm going for a black, then I'm going to add a little bit more white, and then a little bit more black. And then on the pink canvas, I'm going to completely reverse that order. On the pink one, I'm going to start with the black, and then add the white, and then add more black and then finish off with white. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of the base colour around the black and white design and I'm going to do that on both of them. That's going to help me when I blow out the colours and it'll allow the flow of the paint to travel across the surface of that canvas when I'm using my blow dryer. My blow dryer is on a cool setting and on the lowest setting and I'm using my torch now just to pop any air bubbles that are in my mixture. Okay, so I'm going to use my blow dryer and just blow the paint downwards. And then I'm going to take the blow dryer and then just fan out the paint across the canvas. And you can see by adding that extra base colour around the black and white allows me to work that paint. And it allows me to blow that paint easily across the canvas without any difficulty. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the pink one. I'm going to blow the paint across each other and then fan it out using my blow dryer to create a different design on the top. And this is just a very simple black and white design. And it's just using two very bright base colours. I really like some of the lines and I'm using my mouth to also blow in some more negative space. Just so when I step back and look at the full design, I can have an overall look of what it looks like. And then I can tweak it by using my mouth and just blowing in some negative space.
I'm really liking both of them. I think the pink one's my favourite. I love some of the lines and some of the detail. I want to get rid of that line. But, okay, I've extended that line. Let me get rid of that line completely. And all I'm doing is using my finger to move some of that paint, some of that base coat over the black and white. There we go. I've just fixed that. And I think that makes it look a lot better. So, I'm just going to take a further look. I'm just blowing out some more of the paint just to a shape that I'm more happy with. And then what I'll do is I'll take you in for a close up and you can see some of that detail. And you can see actually by using just a couple of colors, you can actually do a really happy, vibrant piece. I'm not too sure about that area up there. I might tweak that a little bit. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. But I almost feel like there's something missing and I need to connect these two pieces a little bit more. This is a diptych after all, so the design will go from one area to the other. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the base colour of the pink and put some dots on the yellow. And then I'll take the base colour of the yellow and put some dots over the pink. And this is one thing that I really love about painting and being creative and just trying something new. Just having a little bit of fun and experimenting. Now, the dots might not work. You might be thinking or even shouting at me already. No, don't do it. Stop. You've done enough. But I'm just kind of exploring to see by adding something a little bit extra. It might completely change that vibe and the overall design. And once I've done the dots on each of the canvases, I'm going to take you in for a closer look just so you can see the final version. So I'll take you in for a close up of the wet version and then what I'll do is I'll let these pieces dry and then I'll take you in for a close up of the dried version. So here we are, the dried versions of both. And you know what? I actually quite like the dots that I added. It's like a polka dot monochrome diptych that I actually really am happy with. It's a happy, fun, vibrant piece. And yeah, it's a bit different to what I've done before, but that's all the fun I'm having, creating different designs and experimenting with different pieces. I'd love to know what you think. I know this isn't something that I'd normally do, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like the really happy, vibrant base colours with just the monochrome black and white design on top? Shall I experiment a little bit further with different colours? Let me know what you think below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're okay, and I hope to see you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your week, everyone. Take care. Bye.